In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at a very interesting function that's available in AngularJS called the double dollar sign post digest function. Now to make use of this function, you'll have to make sure you include AngularJS in your web page as I have done here. I've referenced it from a popular CDN, but you can download a copy to your local web application and reference it from there if you would like. Now the double dollar sign post digest function is basically a function that runs after the digest loop has been executed. The digest loop is that mechanism by which Angular does its binding system between the view and the model. Now, double dollar sign functions and double dollar sign properties uh, in general should really not ever be used because they're kind of internal to Angular. But this one is actually quite useful, and so long as they don't change the internal API, you can definitely make use of this when building your application. So let's kind of take a look at how it works. Let's say after the, the Angular digest loop process runs, I actually want to execute a one-time function. Um, I can register it using the double dollar sign post digest function. So I'm going to say scope dot double dollar sign post digest. I'm going to pass in a function here. And then I'm going to say console.log. And then I'm going to say digest loop ran. So now I can save that. We'll jump over to our web browser. We're going to reload our page. And we're going to see that our function executed. Now what's interesting is this function only executes the one time. Once it's been executed, Angular actually pops it off the post digest uh, queue and doesn't execute it again. So if we wanted to execute it again, we'd have to add it again. So to kind of demonstrate what that looks like, I'm going to come in here and add a button. Now observe, I'm not going to use ng-click. I'm going to actually use the built-in um, on click mechanism available in HTML. So we're going to say click me and then I'm going to have click me. Now the reason why I'm not going to use ng-click is that basically ng-click wraps this event handler inside of, a call, inside of a call to apply which then triggers the digest loop. And what I want to do is I actually want to trigger that entire process manually. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say window dot click me function. Now the reason I'm defining this inside of here is I want to have reference to the scope object via closure. So I'm going to come in here and say dollar sign scope and then I'm going to copy this function here, paste that right there. And we'll just put click me so we can know that it actually got added there for cl during click me. Now, because click me is not going to run as part of an apply function and the digest loop is not going to be triggered, I'm going to have to manually trigger it. So I'm going to say dollar sign scope dot dollar sign apply. Now, watch what happens when I run this code. I'm going to reload this and I'm going to click click me. Now observe our click me function ran. I'm going to click click me again. And you'll see now it's run twice. And now it's run a third time. But notice it's only running once. So as you can see, each time I click this, it's not re-executing the same function again. It's actually only executing the one function that I've added here. Notice that this function only ran the first time. It didn't run with the subsequent clicks of click me. Now, one thing to make to make note of is that when this particular function runs, let's take a look at the actual phase value for the uh, for the for the scope. So, if we do double dollar sign phase, we'll actually output that to the console. And we'll come back and reload our page. We'll click click me. Notice that the phase is null. If we were in the middle of the apply portion or in the middle of the digest loop portion, the phase would actually be apply or digest. So notice that the post digest function really is running post digest. We're no longer in the digest phase. 
when this executes. Now, this is a double dollar sign thing. It's supposed to be internal to Angular, but a lot of folks make use of this, of this functionality so that they can execute some piece of code one time after the digest loop has finished running. The key is just paying attention to the Angular API, and if this happens to get changed, then of course you'd have to go back and update your code to reflect that.